Welcome back to Rock Your Best Vocals. Are you a singing fraud? This is very serious. If you want to know if you're a singing fraud, stick around because you don't want to be a fraud. My name is Jim Chandler with Rock Your Best Vocals, where your best keeps getting better. I'm a professional singer for over 30 years and a professional vocal coach for over 20 years. During that time of my professional singing, I've seen a gradual kind of move to people starting to be seriously fraudulent. What I mean by that is like, it's so easy right now to be a fraud in music. Why? Because AI will write a whole song for you. If you put lyrics in, there's a, there is a, a generator, a song generator that will write and sing the whole song for you if you put lyrics in there. I'm not even joking. That to me, I find is, is extremely concerning slash disgusting because it's just like anybody can just go and write a song and sing and play a song like and, and anyway like you can find that so if somebody's done video on youtube i think i've i've done something on this before where i think i put in the person then you i put in the link but anyway so ai will do a whole song for you ai will also like <laughs> Same thing with with similar to AI. You've got pitch correction and you've got auto tune. I've seen people use these live. In fact, a, a couple of things that I've seen live in my career recently in the past couple of years is somebody using pitch con, pitch correction live, and then somebody in my band singing miming through most of the set and that really annoyed me because it was like I feel like you know it is fraud because you're basically like you're trying to make someone else believe something about you that is, is not true like for example if I was to say hey I'm a lawyer or I'm a doctor and here take this that's fraudulent so how is that any different from getting up and miming or using auto-tune or pitch correction or any of these things. That's my interpretation of it. And if you're using any of those, you don't want to wind up on Wings of Pegasus where he's going to rip you a new shkabooty for doing such a thing because it's it's disgusting. Like, I've seen it just so much. And it re like, I don't, I don't like it. Now, why... It, that's a problem is because it's so it's so easy to be a fraud and then the other problem with this is it's it's takes so long to actually learn to sing and you see but that's not even true it does not take a long time to learn to sing the problem with that is is that vocal coaches or you know voice teachers they take on students and they have them on the roster for a long time. And that is totally unnecessary if you ask me. And I'm telling you this because like, I learned how to sing myself. And I know that there's very few things that you really need to master in order, in order to be able to sing and, you know, kind of, you know, at least, you know, sing well enough to to sing professionally. I mean, I wouldn't consider myself the greatest singer in the world, but, like, I can sing professionally and I make good money doing it. So, you know, that's good enough for me. But the problem is with that is that vocal coaches, especially, like, these ones on YouTube, the key is sign up to, like, years' worth of a program when it's like, that reminds me of like big pharma, right? It's like, be, and the reason is, is because, you know, the, there's no profit in the cure. So if they teach you how to sing and they give you the fundamentals that help you to sing better really quickly, that doesn't line their pockets. Now, I want to be known for someone who, 
helps people to sing better, faster, and just not keep somebody like on the books for like a long time just to just to line my pockets. Like I want to be known as that person who is like that generous person who's helped many, many millions of people to sing and do it faster and do it better. And the the reason why I like like that means so much to me is like I'm I I've always been like an inventor and an economist. I've always been like this lazy kid who wants to find a better way to do something. Um anyway, like so it, getting back to the example of like the big pharma and like somebody wanting to like just this is similar to the vocal coaching thing is like and I've never really signed up to that vocal coaching and just done it. I've just gone, look, it's just not, it's not helping me that much. So I'm just like, I'm going to walk away. Like that's after like four or five lessons. I'm just like, this is not working for me. Like it's not, I'm not advancing. You have to be really kind of cognizant of your own voice. And, and are you really advancing the way you want to advance? Um, so there's a story that I have, like when I hurt my leg, I went to this guy who's saying, you know, he's going to fix me up and like whatever he was going to do, like acupuncture and some massage and stuff like that. I don't want to get too deep in the woods, but like I was like, the guy was really kind of um, charismatic and cool. And I was like, oh, cool, man, I'll come back to this guy. And after a while of like going there and throwing like, I think it was like 80 euro every time I was going there. I wasn't getting any better. And I was just like, this is not helping me at all. So, but, and he was, you know, he just kept saying, oh, okay, come on, I'll see you next week. And he was like adamant about putting it back in the diary, like 80, 80 euro, like every week. It was like, okay, I'll, I'll see you next week. It was almost as if like I was in his budget thing and it was like, oh, I got to get money from, you know, these people so okay hey come back next week because he needed money that week that for me like I was just like I'm I, I'm just so done with this there's just there, there's there's no profit in the cure for them but there's like you know if you if you want to get better you got to find somebody who has that that motivation as well for you to get better not for them to just make more money off of you or to get to have another another student on the books another number in in the in the budget or whatever so that's what i want to be known for like is you know if you talk about leaving a legacy that's what i want to be known for um so that's that's my thing anyway the solution to all of this is that you can sing quickly you can you can improve your voice quickly by learning just like a few fundamentals of support and vocal coaches won't talk about this why because this is like the cure this will be the cure for many singing problems like if you can't if you can't extend your range you know if you can't sing with power if you can't stay on pitch and you're having trouble holding out lines you know for if you're running out of breath or anything like that or if you're in pain singing it's down to support so if you click the link down below to singing support secrets that will teach you everything there is to know about support and that's because and i i know this because it's like i've taken all the free courses online and i've used everything from my 30 years of experience to give you the maximum benefit that I can in the shortest amount of time so that you can get better quicker. So it, click the link down below if that interests you. I hope this video has helped you to know that, you know, it, it doesn't take a long time to learn to sing and you're better off learning how to sing because if you use any of those fraudulent techniques like, you know, pitch correction or auto tune or anything like that, when you go to sing a song live and you actually can't sing it, 
think of how crappy like you're going to feel. I mean, that to me, that's worth it just to know that you actually can sing and you don't depend on something that makes you a fraud. So anyway, I hope this has helped you. Rock your best vocals with your best keep getting better. Thanks for watching. See you.